From the 1st of September, all members of retirement funds will be able to withdraw a portion of their retirement fund each year. Now this may be very tempting, after all, who wouldn't like a little bit of extra cash? But there are some things you need to consider. Let's first do a quick explanation of the funds paid in to the savings pot. So on the 31st of August 2024, the GEPF will calculate the benefits of the member's fund. An amount equal to 10% of the benefit to a maximum value of 30,000 Rand will be automatically transferred to the savings pot. This is called the seed capital and it is available for withdrawal if the balance is 2,000 Rand or more. In addition to the once-off seed capital, each month one-third of your pensionable service is added to the savings pot. This means that for every year of pensionable service, four months are allocated to the savings pot. You can withdraw these funds once a year. The only restriction is that the withdrawal cannot be less than 2,000 Rand. But before you do make a withdrawal, this is what you need to know. Firstly, taxation. So remember the contributions to your pension fund were tax deductible, which means that it reduced your taxable income each month. Unfortunately, that means when it comes to making a withdrawal, you will now have to pay tax. Otherwise, this would create a tax loophole. Any funds withdrawn from the savings pot will be taxed according to the member's personal income tax rate. And this tax will be deducted before the funds are paid out. Let's look at some examples. A member withdraws the maximum seed capital of 30,000 Rand. If the member has an annual taxable income of 250,000, the 30,000 is added to their taxable income. The member is now taxed on an annual income of 280,000 Rand. This means the member will pay approximately 26% tax or 7,800 Rand, leaving only 22,220 Rand left of that withdrawal. If the member has an annual taxable income of 550,000 Rand, the 30,000 is added to their taxable income and the member is now taxed on an annual income of 580,000. This means the member will pay approximately 36% tax, 10,800 Rand. This leaves only 19,200. The higher your tax rate, the less you will receive. So now that withdrawal is not looking quite so attractive. What is important to remember is that you can leave the funds in the savings pot to grow. And you can withdraw all the accumulated funds at any time in the future. There's no time limit. However, you will still be taxed and it will reduce your pension at retirement. Which brings us to the second point. If a member makes withdrawals prior to retirement, this will reduce the number of service years. Years of saving service, so that's the one third contribution, is accumulated in the savings pot and these are used towards calculating that lump sum gratuity that is paid to a member when they retire. Let's take an example of a member who has 15 years of pensionable service at the 31st of August 2024 and then works a further 15 years before taking retirement. If a member does not withdraw savings before retirement, at retirement he or she will have 30 years of pensionable service. This will be made up of 15 years of vested service what was it, that was accumulated up to the 31st of August 2024, then 10 years of retirement service and five years of saving service. The gratuity is calculated on 20 years of service made up of 15 years in the vested service and five years of the saving service. If a member withdraws all the savings from the savings pot prior to retirement, at retirement, he or she will only have 25 years of pensionable service. This is made up of 15 years of vested service, 10 years of retirement service, but zero years of saving service. So the gratuity will now be calculated on only 15 years of service, made up of those 15 years of vested service, because there are no funds left of saving service. So, if you withdraw from your savings pot, you will get out less of a lump sum at retirement. Now, just as a side comment, your annuity income will be based on the retirement service, which we will explain in our next video. Now onto the third reason why you may not want to make a withdrawal. This money is for a crisis, not lifestyle. 
The government has given us access to our retirement funds before retirement to assist us during times of financial crisis. If you keep drawing each year for no real reason, then when you really do need the money, it will no longer be available. So think carefully before you make those withdrawals. In our next video, we will explain how your benefits will be calculated at retirement.